Hello, I'm Lindsay Patton with Master Swing Canada, and today we're going to look at how you can use some inexpensive equipment that you or someone at your club may already own to provide useful visual feedback to swimmers as they learn or work to improve a skill such as a diving start. We're going to demonstrate using a notebook computer and a webcam to, along with some free software how to provide a system that allows swimmers to watch themselves practice skills and that works efficiently for large groups of swimmers. Video has been recognized for years as a valuable tool to provide visual feedback as skills are learned or refined, but there have been practical barriers that have prevented regular use of video in team practice. With the development of digital video, the cost of working with video has dropped drastically, reducing that barrier, but a basic problem has remained. If you want to provide immediate feedback to the swimmer, you have to stop recording, get back to the point in the video where the swimmer appears, and then play it back for them. Meanwhile, the other swimmers all have to wait for the coach to finish with that swimmer, or they can go ahead, but in that case, that iteration won't be captured on video. We're going to look at how you can set up a webcam so that recording is continuous, but swimmers can still watch the video of themselves immediately afterward. We'll accomplish this by introducing a delay between when the video is captured and when it appears on the screen. This allows the swimmer to perform the skill, such as a forward start, get out of the water, walk to the screen, and watch the skill they have just performed. Meanwhile, other swimmers can carry on with practicing the skills, still be captured on video, and still be able to watch themselves when they arrive at the screen. In this way, everyone can see themselves on screen performing the skill with minimum, minimal slowdown of the practice.